Hello everybody, I'm Swarangi from Vishwakarma Institute of Technology. We are Group 3 from Division M. Today we are going to discuss floating point representation. The description of binary numbers in the exponential form is called floating point representation. Before getting into it, let's first discuss fixed notations. We are accustomed to using fixed notation where the decimal point is fixed. And we know that any numbers to the right of the decimal point are called decimal portion of the number. To the left are called as the integer portion. Let us see an example. Here we have the number 10.75. The numbers on the right hand side of the decimal point that is 7 and 5 are called as the decimal portion of the number. And the numbers on the left hand side that is 1 and 0 are called as the integer portion. Hi guys, my name is Bar. I'm going to explain floating point representation. Floating point representation can implement predictions for higher range values. The numerical evaluations are carried out using floating point values. It can create calculations easy. Now scientific numbers are described in the following figure in the slide. As you can see, 4.2 is 90 gram. 10 is the base and 8 is the exponent. Only matrix and exponent are stored. Since the base is implied, as it is not stored, memory is saved and memory capacity is also increased. Hello guys, my name is Aditya. I am going to explain IEEE standard. IEEE stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Standards Association. Is an operating unit within IEEE that develops global standards in a broad range of industries. There is an IEEE standard that defines the structure of a floating point number. It defines four main sizes of floating point numbers 16, 32, 64, and 128 bit, sometimes referred to as half, single, double, and quadruple precision. Hello, I am Yash. Uh, let's take an example. We want to convert number into given format M into uh, B raised to E. Uh, here, let's take an example. Uh, 3450 3, is equal to 3.45 into 10 raised to 3. Here, 3, 4, 5 is matrix and N is base and 3 is exponent. Let's take a few more examples. Uh, then now first number is 3 into 10 raised to 6. Here 3 is matrix. 10, 10 is base and 6 is exponent. Let's take uh, uh, let's take example with change base. Uh, 1, 1, 0 into 2 raised to 8. Here, here is 1, 1, 0 is matrix. 2 is base and 8 is exponent. Let's take uh, decimal point example. 6132.784 here uh, 6132.784 is my tisa this is 10 exponent is minus 3 my name is O today I am going to explain single precision floating point first point create the point tisa portion that is the integer point second point Create the decimal fraction. Third point, calculate the exponent by moving the decimal point till the number is in the format point. Fourth point, convert the exponent to two's complement. If it is negative, move the point to the right. Fifth point, add the sign bit. Sixth point, if zero, then it is positive, and if one, then it is negative. Last point, write the format sign exponent and sum. Hi guys, now I am going to explain you double precision floating point format, sometimes called FP64 or float64. It is a floating point number format, usually occupying 64 bit in computer memory. It represents a wide dynamic range of numeric values by using a floating radius point. Double precision may be chosen when the range of precision single precision would be insufficient. In IEEE 754-2008 standard, the 
the 64-bit base 2 format is officially referred to as binary 64. It was called double in IEEE 754-1985. So as you can see in the figure, total bits is 64. One bit is assigned for size, 11 bits for exponents and 54 bits for mantis. I hope you understood the concept which we tried to convey through our video. Please like, comment and subscribe the channel.